Reading for November 13th, Science of Mind, A Philosophy of Faith, A Way of Life by Ernest Holmes. Reading from page 319, paragraph 1, through page 319, paragraph 4, using inclusive language. No matter what the need may be, whether we call it physical disease, poverty, unhappiness, lack of opportunity, or need for love and friendship, we should conform the words of our treatment to meet the necessity of the case. Because we are all members of one another, the word of the practitioner will rise through the consciousness of their patient into experience. There is a law of physics which says that water will reach its own level by its own weight. There is a law of metaphysics corresponding to it. Consciousness will externalize at its own level by its own recognition. We may call this faith, we may call it embodiment, we may call it whatever we will, there is something in the universe which responds and corresponds to our mental states. Therefore, it is imperative that we turn from the relative because to view limitation is to impress it upon the mind and accentuate the state of consciousness which produced it. It is not always easy to turn from fear from poverty and pain, and from the hurt of human existence, to that which is perfect. But whoever can do this, and will train themselves to do it, will be like the person healed of blindness. They had little comprehension of how it had been done. They could only say, whereas I was blind, now I see. Suppose when one begins to treat, a great surge of fear comes over them arguing that they cannot give a good treatment. The thing to do is to treat this fear as a suggestion which has no power and which, therefore, cannot convince them that they lack the power to heal. They should say, there is nothing in me which can doubt my ability to heal. This will neutralize the fear and free their effort. How do we know when we have treated a patient long enough how would one know when to stop seeing them if they were a doctor? When they are well, they will need no more treatments. Until this time, treat every day for a realization of perfection. Begin each treatment as if you had never treated the patient before, trying to realize each time that this particular treatment is going to do the work perfectly.